Welcome to our series about building Go executables. This time, we're going to talk about Sego. Say you have a web server that you wrote. Currently, this web server contains only a health handler function for health checks. And you want to build it inside Docker. So I'm using a multi-stage build, first from Golang 1.18.1, and I'm building it. And then I'm using the Alpine Docker to distribute. Alpine is a smaller Docker image. So let's build it. And once it's built, I'm going to try and run the Docker. And I'm going to get an error. So let's dig in and see what is the problem. So I'm going to do Docker run app HTPD, which is the name of the Docker image. And I need to give it that I want to remove it after that. And I need the terminal. And instead of running my application, I want to run the SH shell. And when I look, I see that the HTTPD is there. And when I'm trying to run it, it says not found. I'm going to use the LDD tool to look at the HTTPD. And it says that the HTTPD is not a static executable as usual in Go, but it actually depends on several external shared libraries. And if I'm going to try and look at these shared libraries, they are not there. They're in the build image, the one from Go 1.18, but Alpine Linux is using a different C library in order to keep itself small, and this causes the problem. So why does Go decide to use non-static library? The reason is, as usual, the DNS. The DNS has support both for a C resolver and a pure Go resolver. And if it, even though by default it uses the pure Go, it's still compiled with the one from the C library, meaning it has external it has external dependencies that it is going to load. So let's get out of here and see how we can solve this. And we can do that by telling Go not to use CGO at all. And we're going to do it by setting CGO enabled to zero. This will force Go not to use any C code and produce a pure static executable that is transferable between operating systems. Let's try. So let's build first. And now, when we do make run, our server is actually running and starting. It is a pure static executable, which is easily transferable. That's it for now. Thank you for listening.